playing with my favorite toys. Hi, kids. I am so excited to talk to you about those super cute pets today, guinea pigs. And I have this book with lots of information in it. Let's check it out. There's different colors, white, black, brown, and a mix of it. The hair can be long, short, or curly. Here we see a mom with her baby. When guinea pigs are born, they have teeth, claws, hair, and can see a little bit. They immediately can walk and eat solid food. Though they still like to drink milk from their mom. One mom can have up to six babies. So better keep the boys and girls separate, whether you house them out in your house or outside. As we can see here, their natural diet is grass, and guinea pigs love to be outside in the fresh air. Wasn't it adorable to see all those cute little guinea pigs? And we already learned so much. So let's go outside and see what their pen looks like. The rule is, the bigger the better. So your guinea pigs get a lot of ex exercises, and you should shelter them from the sun and the wind, maybe with a towel or something. The grass shouldn't be wet because they get colds just like we do and they even don't like to be wet. It should have a certain height so they can't jump over it and the mesh needs to be fine enough to keep the guinea pigs inside and the predators outside. They should live in groups of two or more but don't house them with other species like rabbits or hamsters. They need different food and they could even give your guinea pigs some diseases. Other pets like cats and dogs could see them as their prey. Ooh, speaking of dogs, did you see how close he got to me? Those teeth. Dre, what do you think of our new pets? They look very yummy. Uh, cute. They are, and they are great pets for beginners. They don't get sick as easily, and they are very friendly and get used to you in no time at all. Okay, I'll be back. So guinea pigs can live outside if you keep them warm and safe. The cage needs a solid bottom so they don't hurt their feet. And their teeth grow constantly so they chew on everything as you see. They are pretty messy so you have to clean them every day depending how big your cage is and if they live in your house or don't. If they live in your house, don't make them the center of attention but also don't lock them away. That will make them sad. But their hearing and smell is good enough. So, they still love their colorful tunnel. Should we maybe very take a closer look, guys? Just let me get into that cage. It's locked. Here it is. Pretty sweet, right? They love to sit on it or hide under it. It's a super fun hideout for them. What else is in their cage? They have water downstairs and upstairs. They have hay and pellets in there. Let me show you. Here you go. They need an extra source of vitamin C because their body can't produce it. You can also feed them fresh raw and raw fruits like or vegetables such as broccoli, apple, cabbage, carrot, celery, and spinach. They also supplement by eating their poop, so don't be worried if they do. So upstairs is where they like to sleep because it's a little more sheltered, so it keeps them cozy during the night. Up there they also have a little house where they can hide and sleep in. What else do they have in here? Hi Fred! They have their veggie bowl up here, but as you can see, they like to use it as a toilet as well. Ooh, Guinea pigs are actually from South America and people originally used to eat them. Oh, we don't do that anymore. They sleep short periods of time and are very active for long periods of time. And if you interact with them, they bond pretty quickly with you. Fred and his brother George were adopted and they got pretty quickly used to us touching them and taking them out of their cage. They are pretty friendly as you can see. And this is his brother George. He has a brown nose. That's how we can tell them apart. He's a little more shy than Fred as Fred is the active one. <laughs> Fred, will you come up again? Oh, here he's coming. He loves to go up and down the stairs. Hi, Fred. What a cutie. Let's take them to the pen in the backyard. So what are some rules you should be aware of when handling guinea pigs? They seldom bite or scratch, but you shouldn't scream or shout when you approach them. And don't run towards them, that would scare them. Don't make sudden movements when you are near to them, because we look like giants to them, so that's pretty scary, right? Be very gently when you pet them, because they are teeny tiny animals. When they are super excited, they like to whistle, and when they enjoy it, 
being petted, they start purring, just similar to cats. Depending on whether they have short or long hair, you have to groom them daily or weekly. If you take really great care of them, they can get four to eight years old. Isn't that great? Oh, speaking of age, what would be a great age to get a guinea pig? Well, that really depends on your child, meaning does it know how to pat it gently and also will it be responsible with feeding and also cleaning their cages? So I guess the real question is, does mom really want a guinea pig? As you can see, Fred and George are very friendly and they're super interested in our friend Peppa. And we love watching them just running around. Ooh, that tickles, guys. <laughs> oh, Peppa sm smells nice. Is she a guinea pig too? Let's have some grass. Pigs are not in the same family as guinea pigs if you were wondering guys. So this was super fun meeting the guinea pigs and getting all the facts about them. We can say for sure these are amazing pets and look how they welcomed me in their little house. I hope to see you soon kids. Bye! Fred, George, it was super nice to meet you. I hope to see you soon in the next couple of episodes. <laughs> this was super fun. We should do an episode about dogs as a pet. Why there's one more.